With the Crest Butte Avalanche Center. I'm out here in West Brush Creek on an east aspect about 11,000 feet. That avalanche above me is on a southeast to east aspect at 12,000 feet. Snowpack structures are going to be a little bit different, but the key factor here is that the snowpack is mostly dry. Another 500 vertical feet lower and we were in a rain-soaked snowpack. The depth floor down at the bottom was still wet from the rain last Thursday night into Friday morning. Here you can see the rain did in fact leave a thin crust right here. Um, it probably melted a bit of the old snow surface down into this thin crust, but it did not drain below that. And now we still have quite a lot of old faceted snow hiding underneath with a nice stout crust with a decent slab on top. Let's see what happens in an ECT. At least on the shady side of the compass. That stuff's not going away anytime soon. Hey, here we are. East aspect, 12,000 feet, right above that avalanche you just saw. Crown's right behind me. Um, let's check out what happens. It's the bed surface is this really hard layer of ice right here. And uh, you can see some facets under that ice. There's also these big old massive tubes of ice that have drained out of this old crust. This crust was the bed surface for that avalanche. A thin layer of facets on top of that was our weak layer. Let's see if it goes in an ECT. Here's that really durable ice lens that became the bed surface for this avalanche. So this delicate crust facet, here's the facets on the bottom of this slab. This crust facet combination that we saw over at Star Pass last week, it's still present in the landscape and size two avalanches are becoming less likely, but they're still possible. So we're holding it at moderate avalanche danger near and above tree line, specifically for concerns like this.